To maximize adhesion during tape application, follow these key principles. Start with clean, dry skin. Minimize touching of the adhesive. Use sufficient pressure to the tape. Cover adequate surface area so the tape can support the tubing or dressing. And obtain full contact between the tape and the skin or tubing so moisture cannot slip in and loosen it. Let's look at each of these principles one by one. Most adhesive tapes stick best to clean, dry surfaces, so try to minimize moist conditions. Remove substances that contain emollients or oils, such as moisturizers or adhesive tape removers. If the skin is very oily, use a mild soap and water to remove the excess oil and pat it dry. An alcohol wipe may also be used to remove the excess oil, but since it is very drying, it should be used with care. To protect at-risk skin, Cavillon No Sting Barrier Film may be used under the tape. If you are using a prep solution, let it dry completely before applying tape. To maximize adhesion, touch the sticky surface of the tape as little as possible. The adhesive on tapes not only sticks to skin, it collects particles. When you touch the tape with your fingers or gloves, small particles stick to the surface. If you stick tape to a table, side rail, or isolate while you're waiting to use it, dust will stick to the tape. If you stick it to a tongue blade to slide it underneath the patient's neck, you also lose a little bit of the adhesive's ability to stick. Each time the tape touches another surface, a little more of the adhesive gets used up. Most adhesive medical products have adhesives that are pressure sensitive. This means they are designed to adhere with gentle but firm finger or hand pressure. Apply sufficient pressure to the tape to get the adhesive into the nooks and crannies of the skin. Place the tape without tension onto the skin. In general, don't encircle a limb completely with tape since subsequent swelling or an infiltration may compromise circulation. Now, gently but firmly stroke the tape. Skin has hills and valleys. Laying a piece of tape on the skin only gives you contact with the top of the hills. Gentle but firm strokes along the tape allow the adhesive to come into contact with more of the skin surface. This will increase initial adhesion and decrease the risk of rolling or losing your tape to friction. Cover adequate surface area so the tape can support the weight of the tubing or the strain on a dressing. Obtain full contact between the tape and the skin or tubing so that moisture cannot slip between the two and gradually loosen the tape. When securing dressings, have at least one half inch to one inch of tape adhered to the skin. Narrower borders of tape may not hold up to the stresses of patient movement or friction. Finally, to help obtain full contact between tape and skin or tubing, try to minimize wrinkles, tunnels, and gaps. If tape is not in full contact with the skin or tubing, drops of moisture or drainage may enter the gaps and compromise adhesion. Hair tends to interfere with good contact between the tape and the skin, so it is extra important to either press or firmly stroke the tape over the hair. In some situations, clipping hair may be indicated.